Okay, but I have a question. I have a question, and this is just the way I think, okay? (laughs) Yeah, so quick. So, um, morally, okay, you were the side chick. Did you ever feel for his girlfriend? Did you know her? Yeah, did you, do you see what I'm saying? Like, girl, I was pre-Jesus genie. I didn't care about no other gooches. Absolutely not. But wait, wait, why is he a gooch, though? Why was his girlfriend a gooch? He just didn't care. Because it's it's a selfish moment. You're like, whatever. It is selfish. But why is she the hooch? I would think the side chick is the hooch because she knows about the other girl. Because, no, there's a difference. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, she won't be the hooch. I'm just trying to understand. I'm not judging. Hey, guys, it's Carls, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Carls, and on this platform, you can expect to find a lot of random content. So if you wish to become part of the random squad make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below and of course subscribe so on today's random video i am going to be discussing something that was completely random and took me by surprise this week and this is tamara maori housley's resignation from the real you heard that right she has resigned from the real and will not be returning for the upcoming seasons and without any further ado let's just jump into today's random video So if you guys know me personally, you know that I love The Real, and moreover, you know that I love Tamara Maury Housley. I want to say that I love and appreciate Tamara's conservative views and her opinion, and I also love the fact that she always held her ground and never caved in regardless whether she was pressured or not by the other ladies on the table. She always held her ground and she wasn't afraid of speaking her truth and her opinions, even though her conservative values may have been the most unpopular on the table. When it came to relationships and everything, she was completely honest and transparent and she always spoke that it seems like her and her husband are very much in love. They've always they have this wonderful unity and she always talks about being a prude and while ladies at the table may have made fun of her mocked her said that she was missing out or whatever the case may have been she always stuck to her ground and always encouraged ladies and girls out there who are watching her to value themselves to respect themselves and of course to find true love with this whole ramble i want to say that i gravitated towards tamara so much and through most of my life I've seen life through Tamara's conservative lens and I really appreciate her. So her quitting the real was definitely a low blow for me. I am sad that she's leaving. I honestly do not think that the show will be the same or will have the same feeling. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the ladies remaining on the table. That includes Adrian Holton, Jeannie Mai, and of course, Lonnie Love. Now don't get me wrong, I love the ladies, I feel that they have an amazing dynamic, but I feel like a big piece of the puzzle is now missing and it is definitely going to feel empty. Tuning in, watching girl chat, it's just not going to be the same. I feel like some of those ladies may have similar opinions, values, or beliefs, but Tamara was that diamond in the rough who would stand out. So it was on Monday that she took to her Instagram and posted the following. For seven years, my home and heart has been at the real. The friendships that I've made there will last a lifetime, and the people that I've had the blessing to interview have changed my life for the better. I am so proud of what all the ladies and I have accomplished there, including two well-deserved NAACP Image Awards and a Daytime Emmy. However, all good things must come to an end, and it is with bitter and it is with a bittersweet smile that I announce that I am moving on from the real. To my fellow hosts, I love you, I will miss you, and I will always be there for you. Thank you for teaching me, supporting me, and loving me, all of me, sisters forever. I'll be rooting for you. I still look forward to spending more time with my family, pursuing amazing new opportunities, and embarking on the next chapter of my life. Honestly, when I read this, ah, I felt sad, but I am happy for her. Now. I want to get into like the tea side of things, no tea, no shade, just speaking what I've read online. There have been articles that have come out saying that the real reason why Tamara left the real is because she allegedly currently makes $3 million. That is her salary for being on the real. Allegedly, 
her new contract she was getting a pay cut and she would be getting one million dollars so that's a two million dollar deduction and pay cut now if you ask me many people say she should have taken that million dollar like you know how much money that is i am very aware that she knows how much money a million dollars is however i feel that she has been in the business for a long time she has a beautiful family two beautiful children and she's a businesswoman. she has her little side hustles and let's not forget the fact that she's an actress so for her to have gotten a two million dollar pay cut like that that was a low blow and i honestly just feel that that was the final straw that pushed her to you know what I quit. My theory is that she's gonna be spending much more time at home with her children, especially right now that schools are closed, COVID-19 is still happening. She will have that solid focus for her children and she'll be, she always talks about being family oriented and spending time with her kids and spending time with her husband. So I'm pretty sure right now this is her time to devote time and attention to her kids who are growing and I know she wants to be present in all of the milestones and I am so excited for her. I am sad that she is leaving but definitely so excited for her and I know that she's gonna do great things. I wouldn't be surprised if she came out with a book after this. I would honestly be interested in reading it and learning everything that she has gone through. I just feel like she's a great role model and I wish her the absolute best. If you guys out here by any chance are fans of The Real, leave your comments down below. How do you feel about Tamira leaving? How do you think the show will continue? I, in my head, already feel it as empty and I feel like The Real may be cut sooner than later. Mind you, The Real will continue for season seven and eight from the comfort of people's homes, meaning they're not going back to the studio because of COVID-19 and social distancing. So that's definitely going to play a factor. I know my video today has been completely different. I actually dove into the Hollywood tea and you know what, it is what it is. All things come to an end and I wish Tamara Maori the absolute best in everything that she does. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Let's start a chat in the section down below. I love interacting with you guys. Selfless promo, make sure you follow me on my YouTube's Instagram page, Random Carls, R-A-N-D-O-M-K-A-R-L-S. And without any further ado, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!